Facing Waves is brought to you in part by Current Designs, the world's leading builder of premium kayaks. Visit us online at cdkayak.com. So we're on Lake Superior in Ontario's Algoma country. For over a decade, I used to spend winters out on the west coast and summers on the east coast. And so every year, twice a year, I would make the drive across the country. And each time I would pass through uh, Northern Superior. And it was always my favorite part of the drive. It is absolutely spectacular here. Even though I did that drive about 18 times, with kayaks on the top of my vehicle, I never really had the chance to paddle here. And it was always one of those things that I said, I have to do. And so I couldn't have been more excited to spend four dedicated days paddling in and around Superior with Naturally Superior Adventures. Finally here, Lake Superior. I've been waiting to paddle this lake for a long time. Paddling around there, it was a warm, sunny day. Beautiful, smooth rock islands with some windswept trees up top. It, it, was, it was a postcard. When I was paddling over the, the sand, I felt like I should be seeing stingrays zipping off underneath me and, and tropical fish going. It, it, it didn't feel like a lake in Northern Ontario. So when you look at the map of Ontario, the Southern Ontario map uh, shows you know, everything kind of south of Sudbury. And then you flip the map over and it shows all of Northern Ontario. And when people look at it, they say, well, you know, Northern Ontario is about the same size as, as Southern Ontario, until they realize that the scale of the map has changed. And, and Northern Ontario is more than twice as big as Southern Ontario. There's very few cities in Northern Ontario. Uh, the towns tend to be quite small and they tend to follow just, just the highways. There's large expanses of, of space that you see nothing but trees and lakes and, and wilderness. On the drive from Sault Ste. Marie to Thunder Bay on the North Shore of Superior, you cross river after river along the way, pouring out of the mountains into Lake Superior. When you look up those rivers, oftentimes you see spectacular waterfalls. When you're paddling down the coastline, the same thing happens. You, you're paddling along, you pass some rivers, and you often have waterfalls dumping right into Lake Superior. We could paddle right to the base and have the mist just hammering on us. It's a really, it's a really neat experience. creeks and rivers running into the lake all along the North Shore with beautiful little waterfalls coming in. You could literally spend your whole time waterfall hunting here. <laughs> <laughs> 